Okay, chapter nine. Um, the trickiest part in this that's not always successful the first time is greeting the clipping map, uh, mask. So let's go through that and then I can talk a little bit about layers. Um, so we want the t-shirt to be over the pattern, right? So we want that to clip out that. So let's make a group from all of these. Collect a new layer, t-shirt pattern. Oh, that's not what I meant. T pattern. Just isolating these. Okay, so we are going to say make and release a pattern over. And then we're going to change the fill to black. And then you have your T print and that's making them all of that. So what we want to do here, make some of these vary a little. And we want to take a few of these. Move them over and up. Um, so follow that out the window, but mainly this, uh, this whole T pattern. So we're going to copy the whole thing. I'm going to go into group mode, copy, and say paste remember layers. So we're going to go into start, and we will paste in there. And that, oops. Try not to lose your layer. And we'll lock the other ones and move that. Oop. Mine's been a little uncooperative. We want to take the entire layer. Why is it just taking that? and bring it with us, oops, and place it over in the arms. Um, so I worked a little in reverse um, just because it was giving me a little trouble um, doing it in the file. Of course, you would have your um, front and back. That could be a different pasteboard. I mean, artboard, it could be a different uh, set of layers and just variations dealing with these print one, print two, and three. You have um, different variations that you're going to get and different patterns. It's like layering and mirroring. Um, and that's how you get the outcome there for the clipping mask. Um, that looked a little easier than it actually is. It's very tricky to get that to work, even though in theory it always just should. Um, and the other thing I wanted to mention about layers, uh, a few points. So you have your active layer, your selective layer. And um, layers are good for organizing your document, maintaining the stacking order, sh what's showing has to be above in the order of the layers and you can also leave um, like I do in the final project a annotation or something that doesn't print and spending some time organizing everything and keeping everything into um, folders and creating a group of folders instead of just having one one group with so many things it can get very confusing especially if it's like path um, where it's, you see it's the t-shirt outline and then there's another one up there because then you have to sit around and turn on and off and see what it's turning on and off and what it actually is. So if you have it grouped and labeled t-shirt one front or t-shirt back and then those are in different situations then you can um, just work a little easier and a little less frustrating. 
um, because when things get complex, that's when um, things get really, you can make some really beautiful, interesting, ornate stuff, but it can also be a very difficult uh, situation to work with. So this is your end result. It looks a little different than what I've even gotten here. Just have to reorder and play with some opacities. And then you'll do the back. Um, and replacing the font. Um, edit type font. So we'll see if we have a resolve missing fonts. I got an error when I opened it. I usually resolve these before I uh, start working in the file, but it's also helpful, helpful to know if you're missing this crate round. So replace with a system versus a document. I'm not gonna log into Creative Cloud because I don't wanna update anything right now, but I will just say replace with this, change all, that's fine that should resolve and uh, change all that should resolve it it's not showing system just pick anything to sort of get that error out it will always keep an eye on it though it will change the way that it looks um, okay there we go, that's the wording in the T, I believe. And so that's been resolved and um, I've shown you how to do a clipping mask and describes a little bit with the organizing and working with layers. And that should bump you along to complete this. A uh, bit of a time consuming one. It's step by step. So just follow along, follow it out the window as I say, and um, allow yourself some time and patience. Great.